Haters getting mad cuz I got me some bathing apes. Calling all my millennials. This is not a drill. Kuala Lumpur has a Bape Cafe. It's tucked in the Saria KLCC Mall on the ground floor. Bape food, Bape furniture, Bape utensils. This place is sick. This cheese on here is super creamy. I found this restaurant on social media and knew I had to visit. Let's check it out and see if it lives up to the hype. So I just sat down at the Bape Cafe. There was a lot of open seating, no wait. I'm in the booth and the booth has the Bathe and Ape camo. Everything is Bathe and Ape themed from the chairs to the napkins to the plates. I just grabbed the menu. I'm taking a look over everything and I'm gonna put in my order and see how everything tastes. <laughs> oh my God, dude, the vi vibes here are immaculate. They're playing Sexy Red right now. Ski! Oh man, this place, this place is so sick. All right, so to start off, I got the Passion Fruit Soda, which is a specialty. They make their own sodas. And look at this presentation. Is this gonna be a paper straw or is this gonna be a plastic straw? Paper straw, minus 10 points. Whoa. Mm, it's very, I gotta stop saying berry because that's just like a bad word to describe things. It's slightly carbonated. It has this passion fruit punch to it. Very tropical, feels like I'm on the islands of, I don't know, Borneo. Very tasty. It has the passion fruit seeds in there as well. It has this nice ombre color to it. Very refreshing. Starting off with the truffle fries. I low key just got these because it comes with the bait paper. <laughs> and the vibes are just high beast on another level, eating bait truffle fries. Mm. Mm. Got some Parmesan on there, truffles, and then this is almost like a tartar sauce on the side. Mm. Wow. Okay, these are incredible. Bathe and Ape is a Japanese streetwear brand founded by Nigo in 1993, one year before I was born. It's hard to encapsulate how popular and how much of a zeitgeist this brand was in like the 2010 era, I found out about Bathe and Ape through Kanye West, Pharrell, Soldier Boy. And Soldier Boy had his hit song, Crank That, where he was referencing Bathe and Ape, he was rocking Bathe and Ape, and he was just like the biggest influencer back when I was like in middle school. I was like in the seventh, eighth grade. We were making these Crank That videos in like 480p and uploading them on MySpace. It was just a different era. I couldn't afford any of the Bathe and Ape pieces because they are pretty expensive. So me and my friends would just buy the fake ones from China. I remember buying a, a pair of Bapestas, which are like kind of a knockoff of Air Force Ones. They were super colorful, light blue with green, white. I paired it up with an outfit from Stephen Barry's. I know my friend Sarah who always watches the videos. I appreciate your support. Me and her and like a couple other people in middle school were obsessed with this brand called Stephen Berry's. You could buy like these colorful outfits for like 10, 15 US dollars and then they sold shoes as well. So I would buy the colorful Bapestas and then pair it with the colorful stuff from Stephen Berry's and kind of like, you know, form my own style. So. It's just crazy being here, having the nostalgic of seeing all this in person. Bape had the iconic hoodie where you could actually zip it all the way up, which was just ridiculous, but it was one of the coolest things that I've seen in fashion. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wow. So. 
I ordered the chicken teriyaki pizza and they brought out a pepperoni pizza. So it was like, you know, common mistake. They sent it back and then they brought me hot chocolate and sweet potato fries as like complimentary um, for the mix up. So that was very generous and unexpected. This is gonna be very controversial. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully I don't offend anybody. I got the chicken teriyaki barbecue chicken pizza. I think I think I got the chicken teriyaki barbecue pineapple pizza. I like it because it has a thin crust. I'm a big fan of the thin crust. Less calories and I like the crispiness of it. I'm low-key full from all the from all the French fries. Mmm. Mmm. Man, this cheese. This cheese on here is super creamy. So I like thin crust because it's a good ratio. When you have like a pan crust or a deep dish, it's just almost too much bread. With the thin crust, you have the right proportions to cheese, chicken, sauce, pineapple. Mmm. Beautiful. I just wrapped up my meal at the Babe Cafe. I went next door to do a little shopping, seeing what they got going on. They told me I couldn't film inside, so that's why there's a lack of B-roll. I think this was God telling me, do not buy a $100 t-shirt. I wanted to, but I mean, t-shirts are something that you always, especially for dudes, you always have too many shirts. And to justify spending $100 on a t-shirt, Bathe and Ape was expensive for me 15 years ago, and today it's still expensive for me. If you plan on coming and checking out the Babe Cafe, I would recommend just getting some coffees or something to drink and maybe some light appetizers. The ambiance and experience was what made it. The food was, I would say it's like a six out of 10. Maybe I just didn't order the right thing. I'll have to maybe come back eventually and try out some more things on the menu. While you're at the Babe Cafe, pop outside because there's this beautiful park. It's called KLCC Park. And it's like a nice promenade where you can walk with your family, take some flicks of the Petronas Towers, and just kind of enjoy being outdoors in Kuala Lumpur. So I'm gonna add a bonus tip for you guys. We're riding the Hypebeast train now. Inside Pavilion KL, there's a Carhartt work in progress store and they have a cafe within it. The vibes are crazy. People are super friendly. They gave me these dope stickers. I really wanted to buy these cups because they have like sick branding on it. The Carhartt, Carhartt, Car well that's gonna be tough for me. Carhartt coffee, Kuala Lumpur, so sick. I wish I could buy one of these cups, but unfortunately they stopped selling them because they were running low on inventory. But if you like Bathe and Ape, you're definitely gonna like this place. So come out and support these guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be yourself and you'll make a difference. Peace.